Hey YouTube, Renee here again, about to crack open a tin of Sam Gowitz Bracken Flake, rich and dark. Um, this is a blend that is currently out of production and has been for a few years now. I'm not exactly sure how long, but um, due to the awesomeness of uh, my compadre, uh, Briar Hokey uh, was able to acquire three tenths of this uh, not too long ago. Uh, you guys seen the video. Um, so I thought, let's, uh, I, I mean, I can't believe I waited this long to uh, do it, at, at, you know, to crack in, crack open one of these tins, but I mean, I. I've been wanting to, but you know, I wanted to wait and wanted to wait. Plus, I had other tobaccos to do. But um, I was going to um, crack it open and smoke it, and then do a review on it. But seeing since it's a uh, you know fairly old tin, um, I thought, why not you know crack it open, you know, uh, record it, and see what's actually inside right now see how it looks and uh, maybe do a first impressions video and then later do something else so let's get on with it now this is a I believe a Kentucky dark fired blend Virginia burly blend and it's supposed to be rich and dark and as you see it is now from what i've read uh one of the uh the the very first um review you see on tobacco reviews.com it said it mentions uh any lakeland lover should have this on their must try list. So, I was immediately intrigued. Now, smells almost licorice with a liqueur in there somewhere, very alcoholic y. I know that's not a word, but you know what I mean. Ah, smells wonderful. It's really, really wet. So, and the it's a broken flake. This is, I gotta be honest, this almost smells, this almost smells like Stonehaven. I'm not saying that it is anywhere near or, you know, anything like it, but oh my God, it smells very nice. Like it's going to be a very nice tobacco. Not sure if it's going to be able to light, um, so I might not be able to light it right now. It's completely broken flake, and I mean it's it's really really wet. I doubt it's going to light, and I hate to ruin some of it. I mean, not not that it'll get ruined, because I mean you know usually I've done it before where I'll leave the pipe tobacco in the pipe and just let it dry that way, you know? But, uh, I gotta try it though, you know? That's why I'm doing the video. <laughs> so, let's try it. I'm gonna pack some in, hopefully not too much. And I'm gonna try and light it. But it is wet. It's very wet. And if you uh, don't know, can't see what I'm doing, I'm actually just spraying it out a little bit. Maybe it'll take the light better. I doubt it's even going to light, but who knows. Here we go. going to just put it in my pipe ever so slightly, not pack it too much. Alright. That was actually the perfect amount, too. Right. 
Here we go. Okay, I just got a little bit of a hit. Of course, the phone has to ring. A little bit of a hit of um, like a Lakeland flavor. Oh, please. And we're back. Sorry about that. Mom called. Wow. This is actually <laughs> really good. Um, now this is completely different of anything I've tasted from Sam Gallet. It definitely has that Lakeland essence, so I know what they're talking about here, and that's probably why I like it. Um, but there's definitely sweetness there. It's a, yeah, it's definitely a dark, rich flake, broken flake, and definitely sweet. Nice sweetness to it. Nice, uh, nice smoothness. Gonna be interesting to smoke it again once I dry out the flake. But right now, right now I'm getting a very sweet, mellow, rich flavor. Um, very sweet, by the way. Very, very sweet for this kind of tobacco. Um, you know, Kentucky dark fired. Uh, it's a very sweet flavor. Um, very rich, very creamy. I love it. So far, I really do. Hmm. Now, once I dry out the flake, I'm guessing it's probably going to be a bit stronger and the flavor is definitely going to change. Right now it's very it's very fruity. It's a very nice, delicious, mellow, rich, creamy <laughs> tobacco. Wow. It's hard to keep it lit because it's very wet, but oh my god. Wow. Yeah. I, I am, I knew, I had a feeling that I was going to like this tobacco. Let me just stop dropping it. I had a feeling I was going to like this tobacco. But I didn't expect to like it this much. Wow. I'm definitely uh, going to do a follow-up to this uh, video. But for now, comadres, comadres, sorry about uh, this taking so long. And sorry for all the interruptions, but Sam Gowett's Bracken Flake. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> all right, compadres. As always, thank you for watching. All right, con Dios.